Don't miss Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing and the world. So y'all check this out, right? Your boat, your boy, at boxer Victor Ortiz, right? Uh, thirty-two and six with, th- with three. Uh, how many knockouts? He got twenty-five knockouts. Victor Ortiz, you know, he's infamous fights with Floyd Mayweather, where he was headbutting Mayweather. Mayweather had to hit him on the break, <laughs> stuff like that. He's infamous for that fight. A few other good fights. He got a couple of fights with Andre Berto, you know, memorable fights. Uh, you know, he's even made a crossover, making it to films like The Expendables. I'm not sure which one, maybe three, if I'm not mistaken, and the movie Soft Call. You know, well. You know, he was charged with rape and a few other felonies. You know, he's had a few instances with the law before. And, you know, so when I see that another prominent person, because he's pretty prominent, you can say, um, you know, accused of rape and things like this, it just, you know, makes me start thinking. You guys know, you know, I wrote the book about domestic violence, and I will put it up there so you guys know I ain't just talking, right? There it is, slapped, right? Sisters' lives are prematurely put in danger. I talk about things like that. You know, and one of my chapters, uh, I think it's just a chapter where one of my first chapters, I think, let me go here. I think it's just simple. Be careful who you get with. It's in that chapter. Be careful who you get with. What I'm talking about there is things like, you know, a lot of times we want to get with a partner who's prominent, you know, strong, have a good standing, you know, high society, those kind of things. Well, you know, those people are resourceful. Right. And I was talking about my book about a case with, with Charlie Sheen, you know, when Charlie Sheen basically told his lady, you know, I know people, I know cops that can, you know, make people come up missing and are very good at it. That's a resourceful person, you know, and he was when you get to know them, they're resourceful. When you get to know them, they're prominent, used to hearing yes most of the time. Right. So they can start feeling like they own you pretty quick. So in situations like that, that can happen. So, you know, my point basically is, yes, be careful who you get with. Live with them in stress situations. It's very important because remember this, everybody out there, that person you're getting with is not going to always be mad at someone else. Right. They're going to sooner or later be mad at you and you need to know what they're capable of. Right. Before. And that's what I think about when I see things like that, because I was definitely wrote about that extensively because a lot of times, you know, grow up and you want to get with these type of people. But make sure you deal with them in stress situations and see what they're capable of. Now, we don't know if he's guilty of anything right now. It's a few things going on. You know, I deal cause we being taken up because he was, you know, you know, doing this for years. Right. He's getting three to ten years, you know, taking them in handcuffs. He's been doing it for years, molesting ladies. You know, so I don't know if they go, you know, what's going to happen if there's going to be an appeal. I don't want to just say you're guilty, but that's what the, the verdict is so far, because it's not um, one case. Right. And the judge told him you're not above the law. A lot of ten times people start thinking they own people or thinking that people, hey, wait a minute, I'm so and so. or I have this much money. You can't. What do you mean? You're not going to do this. You know what you used to be before you met me? Those kind of things. And in this society, <laughs> that's a lot of that. Right. We have different levels, you know, different levels of society, you know, the lower class, and the under lower class, the middle class, and the high class, and the high society, all those things. And all of us go to the toilet. I don't get it. But at the end of the day, that's what we're going through. So I don't want to get too profound in this, but it's a lot of things going on in the world. I'm not going to get on it, but we're going to just stay here with my man, Victor Ortiz. Let's see what happens. It's unfortunate. But it's another uh, example of someone prominent, you know, um, being accused of rape. Think about it. Normally, it's it's supposed to be some broke dude that don't never get none. (laughs) You know, prominent dude who can basically say, well, the hell with you. I'm going out or I'm going to meet somebody or whatever. You know what I mean? Those are options. I write about that in my book as well. You have other options. So I don't really understand why that is. Well, I'm not lying. Yes, I do. You know, basically, people who get prominent and you start hearing good things about yourself, you become spoiled. Anybody say something going against you, then you will have a problem. We see it in our president right now. So let's see what happens with your boy, Victor Ortiz. I'm not going to just, you know, put the, you know, put it, put it on too hard right here. But um, if he's guilty, we will probably readdress this. But he's definitely uh, been sentenced. Let's see what happens with him going forward again. Victor Ortiz, a boxer we kind of like, just because he quit that one fight with a broken jaw don't mean he's a quitter. 
right? Don't mean he's a quitter. You know, he's still a fighter. We like to see him watch watch him anyway, win or lose. But uh, we don't know his fight. Matter of fact, he has a fight coming up on the weekend against John Molina. That was going to be a good one. Him and Molina, that was going to be a good fight. We don't know if that fight, because he's out on bail right now, so we don't know if that fight is going to take place or not. We don't know. But he is charged with rape and three other felonies. So let's see what happens going forward. Doma Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.